Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Dungeonetics. We're a Connecticut-based podcast that will never ask for a Patreon. That's not what this is about. This is about recording creativity and imagination run loose in the time where those things are needed. Welcome to Dungeonetics. In our previous episode of Dungeonetics, we finished talking about the changes we've made to the world. In fact, these changes were so crucial and altering that I needed to include them on the next session. So, folks at home, you're going to hear John talk about how our actions of ending the war created a, a power vacuum in which Sir Rogar has oddly stepped into. Once that explanation is done, we talk about possibilities for for money because everything is going to be on our shoulders. Providing for our talent a living wage. How farmland is governed. Tithes. You know, the real nitty gritty of uh, government fiefdom in the mid 14th to 16th century call it not England any hoozle after all this is over you're going to hear a complete shift of energy as we're moving from the tail end of a section to the beginning of of, a, of an explosive, ego-driven, seven-strong continuance in which every single one of us had a side adventure that none of us knew about. Sir Rogar, well, you're going to hear, found his holy focus and Duffin paw and oats dug up a body and did something real special but uh, the the digging up of the body and the doing something they're, they're not mutually exclude I mean <sighs> listen in and find out what I'm talking about on this episode of Dungeonetics thank you So, in the meantime, that is the end of tonight's adventure. Uh, it is kind of the end of the quote-unquote, kind of like the prologue of uh, your adventure. At this point, uh, it's more freeform. The war is over. Uh, in the coming days, uh, there is the coronation of the Count's nephew, who becomes Baron now of Renford. And his father is the lord of one of the cities within their new barony. Uh, so his family has basically uh, taken control of that barony. And um, yeah, the group, everyone has uh, leveled up to level three. Uh, uh, once the army starts making its way back to Lindbergh, uh, the camp of the scale company basically decommissions. Uh, they tear down the camp. The uh, new regent of the valley, Lord Ingram, has basically <coughs> given a warehouse that is uh, your soldiers are currently converting into a barracks for the scale company within Lindbergh. Uh, there is the main body, which the commander will be keeping his men in. Uh, there is the East Wing, where uh, 
Kiva, the wing man, the other wingmaster, has uh, settled her men. Um, she has basically the other wing uh, master was slain in the west, so she has absorbed their soldiers. And then the west wing of the barracks, the commander has offered to your group. Uh, in addition, he has notified you that um, the eastern wing was pretty decimated and a uh, talent of men that you rescued in the tunnel have requested from him to join uh, your wing. And uh, the use of the uh, east wing in the barracks in Linberry is however you want. Uh, during the time of building up this warehouse, which is there's basically going to be another fortnight, so you basically have spent the fortnight here through your adventures. The next fortnight is going to be acclimatedness. The commander is going to pay you guys for the second fortnight. After that, um, since we are transitioning into a peacetime arrangement, uh, you're now getting both you and Kira now have semi-independence. You can take contracts at your own discretion. The paying of your soldiers is now your responsibility. You do not get any salary directly from him. Um, and the payment of the people reporting to you are of your responsibility now. And whatever jobs you take, we are all as a company allied with the region. However, what jobs you take from now on will be up to your discretion. So long as they don't go against so, uh, so long as they don't conflict with the company's agenda. Uh, uh, beyond that, he is taking possession of the estate. The estate basically has that manor house. And then there is a small cluster around the manor house, which includes uh, an inn, which is on your land, and two farmhouses with families that live in it. Those people uh, work uh, to feel uh, to uh, basically half of your farmland that is around the manor. They both work it. Their rent to you per se is there's a fifth of your total farmland that is considered your demise. So everything they produce on that one fifth of the field goes directly to you as the rent. The other 80% is their work, their livelihood. They use it to feed their family and make a living. Uh, and then on top of it, you have the the uh, mill. Uh, payment for the mill, whether it be the farmers on your land or farmers in surrounding land, one twelfth of everything that they grind in there is yours. And then on top of that, out of the one twelfth you take as a banality, you owe one tenth of that to Lord Ingram. So that is, well, it, it basically says it's on that. And also, it, the other condition on there is that uh, if the, the region so calls, you will serve him as a knight in his army. So basically, uh, Alex was made a lord of the, re of the region. He's a, he's a knight, and he's got feet. Yeah. Is he allowed to still be part of the company, though? Yeah. Do we have to like bow to you and stuff? Well, no, he's always so he's always been a knight. He just hasn't been a knight of the valley. Yeah, but that is it's, like, you know. it's just a so. It's just because I I made a request. Fair. And then he filled it. Like so, it's like like if if you imagine like in, in like old like England times shit it's like you know. You know, dukes and stuff, get married in the family. Just, this, like, Go on, John. <laughs> All right, so I'm on you, baby. So you're back, finally up to full power, all seven. Um, a little recap, since uh, we had uh, some people drop last week. So during the last episode, the scale company, the Free Talons in particular, took a contract to support the now established region 
um, the Baron of Lindbury to assault the Count after the conflict that the party helped create. So you guys went to the city where the Count and his remaining forces had encamped uh, while fleeing from uh, the Regent's forces after their defeat outside Lindbury. Uh, the group infiltrated and opened the gates and fought in a few skirmishes during the battle. Um, during that time, the Count was slain by the party, and the constable of Lord Grafton was revealed to have been the Harbinger. The party confronted him, and he fled once again. Was it the Count of Oh, well, he was the constable. Yeah, the, the, the count of the entire Vale um, was. Uh, oh, he was like, you killed. Uh, during the process, the count's brother-in-law, or the late count's brother-in-law, uh, negotiated to have his son, the nephew of the late count, become the baron of Brencroft. Uh, and. Uh, the group, the army, your army, uh, stayed within the city for the next three days as the new baron was appointed. Um, the other uh, minor landowners throughout the uh, county, or, or actually the barony now, um, went to the capital and you know kissed the ring of the new baron. Um, after that was done, um, only a small detachment of the region's forces stayed in the count, and the majority of uh, your forces went back to Linberry. Uh, during that time, the region has made a, a long-standing contract with the scale company and given you a um, basically an abandoned uh, storehouse slash warehouse um, within the city that your Lord Commander has begun to turn into a barracks for the scale company as a permanent base <coughs> to rebuild. Um, at the full strength, like I said in the very beginning, full strength of the company is about 500 people. You guys now stand at about 160. So you guys have a lot of rebuilding to do. Um, there's three main contingents within the scale company at this point. There's the central function, which are all under the direct command of the Lord Commander. Um, there is Wingmaster Kira, who commands half of the other forces. And then there is the free talons, um, which are commanded by the group of you. You guys haven't nominated a particular one of you to be Wingmaster. Oh boy. Um, Roll for it. And in addition, during that time, uh, the new regent uh, gave, uh, gave the uh, Miller estate over the Sir Rugger. Um, and uh, during the downtime, because it's been about a fortnight since um, you guys have returned back to Lindbury, um, his, uh, his retainers have been helping repair and clean out after you guys... Uh, um, desecrated his his manor. Hmm. Uh, the manor is about two miles outside of Lindbury, along the river. Um, and there are two farms around that have families working them, and then there's a small tavern where people that come with their shipments to mill um, stay. And then there is, of course, the mill and the silo, and he also has a, a bakery right there where he takes his his uh, flour that is either sold to him or he takes his uh, hive and uh, basically bakes bread to sell in Lindbury. So that is what happened during that fortnight. Um, Sir Rogar himself uh, has spent most of it in Lindbury. Uh, in the Cathedral of uh, Dual Divinity, uh, repenting or atoning for his actions. Oh, whoa. Wow. 
Uh, also, <laughs> during that time, uh, Oats, um, Duffin, and Pa went back north to Fellcross. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, to um, do a few errands up there. Should I say more? Well, that, that's up to you. As I would to, love uh, to say more. <coughs> to, uh, you know, they communicated with some people, checked out the tree, um, and investigated... Um, I rolled a critical, guys. I rolled a fucking critical on a performance check at the bar. Okay. Or, no. What? No, no, no. <laughs> I rolled, I, it was a 27 performance. It was the best performance of my life. And Duffin was there. Was. He was there. I was. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. It was like nothing it was I've great. ever seen. Really? So, uh, I'm... I'm it was, you were making love to everybody. It, it, it was amazing. It was funny. Was like, uh, yesterday I was, you being I was outside, I touched the grass, it was great. In the middle of the night, um, um, we had Drago and Wolf Spain disappeared, and they went off uh, and dealt with some other things, and when you guys marched off the war, they unfortunately were preoccupied. the trip. Yes. And they missed it, and uh, they're, they're back at the... At headquarters when you return. Mm-hmm. We have, yeah, a little montage. Thanks for showing up late, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Convenient that they missed the war. And, uh, <laughs> and during that time, Skeet has that. been uh, pretty closeted up studying both the book and some uh, other trinkets and also uh, spending some time with the air. And that leads us during that time um, basically kind of like the Seneschal of the Lord Commander, the, his errand boy, Koran, he basically presented you guys with three contracts um, from the Mining Guild up north, um, from the Baron, actually the Baron's new constable in the east, who is actually the old Miller's son, um, the witch's brother who is now the Constable of the East, and he came and asked for your assistance in dealing with a rebellion in uh, Glarencroft. Um, and in addition, there was another trade caravan group um, that contacted you to try to negotiate um, uh, a trade agreement directly with the Providence to the East, which is not on the map I showed you that's this out of the veil. Um, the party decided that they were going to um, support um, the contract on ending the rebellion in Grencroft. Uh, so uh, uh, Curran basically brings in uh, the Miller's, uh, Miller's son, uh, Sarah Bold, into your office. I don't know where you're taking, if you're going to take uh, your office in your, because uh, basically that storehouse in town has a wing, three, like there's a central building, and there's two wings. One wing was given to uh, Kira, and one wing was given to you guys as of base operations for the, the soldiers in the free towns. So that's that's in the proper city within the walls of Lindbergh. Trying to remember. Everything. Well, Kira was the know. one that never got injured during every single. Yeah, oh, Kira, Kira, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kira, she's not here. She's in Thank Durwing. Gosh, okay. she's, the went, she's the one that went. She's the one that went to Black Rock, where and no one the, died, right? and no one died. Yeah, and she that's came back from her mission. Um, and babies. what happened to the kid? Uh, Bobby has. No, no, I, he, he's, he's under your care. Yes. Yeah. Oh, much. so nothing. We need. Do you want to talk to the kid? Did you? Did you? I want to talk to the kid. Okay. The, the kid's been spending time with me while you guys were away. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's interesting. That's the best idea. Is so. Is, is it? No, spending seriously. time with the rat. So what <laughs> happened? That he wants to kill. Did you want to kill the kid? Is that no. what I remember from last time? I saved the kid. What are you talking about? Oh, that's right. We wanted <laughs> to kill the kid. We wanted the the kid to wear the human skin. Oh, that's right. That's what it was. Huh? I don't know. Mark, the last time we played was last year, so it's really I know. hard so to I'm trying to catch up on everything, trying yeah, to remember yeah, yeah. everything that we did. So the kid, you have your 
We've been watching the kid, or just no? He's he's in. He stays in your wing. Right, he stays in our wing. Okay. We all have access all right. to him. But so it's like three men and a little but baby. But for the past, for the, for the last fortnight, I've been yeah. spending time with him, uh, supporting, been studying, supporting the rebellion. Okay, okay. yeah, squashing the rebellion. I need to learn more about the kid. What's uh, special uh, about the kid? Yes. Basically, going huh? north to, to Black Rock to discover why uh, the iron <coughs> is no longer coming out of the mines. Okay. And the other one was negotiate a trade route in the east. He chose. Two. Yeah. What? He's like a three contracts. Recap. Yeah. Recap. Well, I should read yeah. this one session. Go north, find Stop. out why the yeah. iron stopped, so or like go east and get a like, trade contract. While you were gone, this happened. Instead of listening to, I don't have the hours to listen to the podcast. I listen to it, but still, some of the stuff. I still don't have the time. All right, so, so. That's that's Kira. Curran is a, a dude. He's Different a new guy. Um, um, Curran and Cerebral. He looks. Curran's he's, a dude. He's an incredibly handsome guy. You do? are uh, handsome dude. You are uh, not sure how he is a veteran warrior because he looks unblemished. He has the purest blue eyes, and he ha- his, how old is he? <laughs> is he you would say he's know, probably in his late twenties. And he supposedly is a veteran? I think I could take him. So there's something fishy about this guy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Everyone everyone calls him the pretty boy, and he seems to be the lapdog of the Lord Commander. Are we sure he's not the harbinger in disguise? <laughs> <laughs> not everyone is the harbinger. Starting to wonder. <laughs> so the, no. when you went and no. you made your role, you didn't make a great That's role. Good. Uh, investigating the tree, but when you were north, you found out one thing you were able to tell that tree that they use as a ward in the uh, fell cross has a it protects the city with a connection to the Feywild. But you did notice that there was a uh, remnants of spores on it that have uh, connections to the Shadow Fell. You're right there, okay. So it's uh, the tree has to, remnants uh, of the shadow fell. Is that what you said? There were spores well, contaminating it that uh, were connected with the shadow fell. Okay, so the tree itself is connected to the fey wild, and the spores are connected to the shadow fell. I want to tell your fey that. <laughs> Just say my aunt fey. Yeah, yeah. 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 your your changeling friend. This was in comes from Minecraft, right? So are we expecting a. Fairy slash fiendish word of breakout is that? Uh, well, know? that all you all you knew is that there's the that big tree in Felcross, and it, they had mentioned mm-hmm. that it protected the town because they're very close to um, territories where orcs raid, and uh, he investigated it during the the downtime, and he found that it had uh, it draws power from the uh, Feywild. Who investigated it? Duffin. Okay. Yes. Yes, he's now telling us this. It draws That's power. Up to him. Jeremy, you can tell. Yeah, are you going to tell, tell us, us all the so, things that John has just explained for the last so five minutes? Yeah, that supposedly we don't know. Just pretend he was doing it in my book. Ridiculous. Yeah. So it draws power from the Good role play. You shake yeah. it yeah. from the yeah. town. Does that mean it can. Yeah, you shake it from the town. The music you are currently listening to is from Kid Drift. He's on Facebook. He was also there during the Floyd protests. You should listen to Kid Drift. Thanks. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Baked beans, bitches! Man, that was amazing. Uh, I thought I was a change. Through to the Feywild as well. 
I don't know if we can create a portal, but it might be used as a focus to create a portal. So is Jeremy. Can the spores create a portal to the... What have you changed into so far? So, oh, you so did some changing. Fell. I remember. Well, the, the link with the shadow fell is much. The, the, the spores. There, I know. It's not I know, like I know. it's much weaker. Yeah, it's but much he weaker. does the animals. You see but it, it, it looks like someone was trying yeah. to corrupt That's the, the tree. That's where Because yeah. I mean, that could be a problem when it comes to the protection of. of yeah, you don't want an army of red caps showing up out of nowhere. There you go. All right. So uh, I want to go check out this tree. Well. Well, you are currently we right already have a contract. Yeah. You're currently <laughs> receiving the contract. You're in your headquarters, and uh, uh, Cerebor is let in <laughs> to explain the contract that you uh, agreed to. Well, so we're just going to throw Renega in the contract and go do our own thing all of a sudden. Yeah. I mean, why stop now? <laughs> totally ruined John's night. <laughs> <laughs> why stop now? <laughs> The way I see it, I do say that. I, in, I, after hearing what Duffin says, I do say after we tell them what we're doing next. Well, we in between now, in between now, that it's not like super linked up, not super time sensitive. Now you're just in charge of the scaled company. In between every session we play, there will be a period of. Uh, Downtime where you can pursue whatever your personal agendas are. Yeah. Nice. So after we get. So now this. that he's told you, you, you may want to go up the fellow cross yourself. I do. During your next downtime. I think. Um, sorry. Wolf's bane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I love the pause. Dramatic effect. We have time to focus on things outside the direct threats which are presenting themselves right now. There's the revolution in Renquaft. They need our help. But they do. I don't want to go too far right now. Plus, we got people for the other shit. Sure. What do you want to know about this tree anyway? Oh, intimidation. I just want to just... Intimidation! I'll tell you. you. I don't need to intimidate me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You need to intimidate me, I'll tell I you. I growl. Um, I hear voices from the darkness. And I, think they might be, and I think they might be connected to the Shadow Realm, so I want to investigate this tree. So after we get done with this adventure, if someone would like to come with... I'll come with. No. Good. No. 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 He already said he's coming. Too. No! We're going after. Give me your doll. I don't, I'll, actually, I don't have the doll. Explain. Um, Last time I saw, I don't know who uh, I have it. I didn't see you, dude. You just up and left. I didn't even. I came back doing my. Uh, I had some. Sh something happened, the and then me and him back. went off. How, how many times have you been, you've been charmed? Just uh, around us, two times. I've been drugged. Charmed. We count charmed. Dunce. Yes. Kept the tally uh, I'm unsure. Oh, actually, he wasn't charmed this time. I'll tell you that much. We, he witnessed, I'll tell you what happened. He, he witnessed what happened down. to me. I, I saw just, he left. I went to follow him to figure out what he was up to. And when I found him, he was kneeling in front of the scarecrow outside of the Miller's plantation, right? It, well, no, it was, I thought it was, it was, it was where the scarecrow was. It was. Yeah. Pa, By the yeah. Miller's, right? I yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he might have been burning the, uh, the, the doll. I was not burning the doll. Is that what it was? No, there was a shadowy hand. No, but the doll was also involved. Yes. Yes. Oh, the doll was involved? Yes. How do I know what's going on with your character? If I read that. I don't well, he didn't burn the doll. He okay. handed the doll to the shadowy yes, figure. Yes, exactly. Yeah, That's I don't I know where the doll is. I was is. trying to cover for you, but fine. Just tell everyone exactly every little detail. <laughs> well, I mean, there's nothing to tell that's a big secret. Thing. I didn't believe Mark. I wasn't going to say the shadowy thing. But you just said it, so okay. Yes, there was a shadowy being coming from the sky that was uh, wrapping around him. Yeah. So and it was the voice that was talking to him was the same voice I hear in my head since I was a child. So we went and uh, so I bonded went and over the voice. About the voice. Yeah. We're trying to figure it out. He's trying to figure it out. The voice that was in the scrying pool. Yeah. Where are you guys right now? We're in the room with you guys. Yeah. In, in the, which, oh, we're in the barracks now. Yeah. 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 Or are we in the Miller's house? 
wherever we are. Where, yeah, we're wherever you want to be. You're at the Miller's house. house. <laughs> we're in the Miller's house. That's what I said at the beginning. I'm like, do you want to take yes at the manor? Wherever we are, we are drinking, having snacks, at the haunted house. Flying through the air. I okay. Heard a, I heard a barracks. I heard a Miller's house. I heard this other thing. I don't know where we are. The yeah, Miller's barracks. Well, you house. you guys have two bases of operations. Okay. You there's not enough room in the manor because you explored the manor to house all your soldiers. Gotcha. So there is a barracks where all the soldiers soldiers stay. So you can have your office and take contracts there, or you can entertain them in the dining room at the manor. It's, that's up to you guys. I mean, I think it, the barracks is a better location. That's where you keep separate business and pleasure. Yeah, Work life yeah. balance, I like to talk about. That's what I'm just trying to throw yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, that's the conversation at hand. I'm trying to figure out this voice, this shadow, because yes. he had the same experience. So, that's where we've been up to. I don't know where the doll is. Beyond what happened to me, the and shadow him pulling me out of that, is that's it. And absorbed it into the shadow. That was what they were doing when they weren't with you. Right. Yes. We were basically. Uh, he got up and just walked out. He didn't say anything, didn't do anything, but I saw him leaving, and he looked charmed. So I wanted to see if he was going to get charmed again. Excuse. Look, charmed or charming? And, no, charmed. He's oh, not yeah, as okay, both. Just, he's not. He's not. He's not the pretty boy. But whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just making sure. Supposedly has piercing blue eyes, which for some reason we. No, not know he about. doesn't. No, I know he doesn't. I'm yeah. saying the other guy. Isn't no, Brian's character trait Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So afterwards, I walked him, I talked to him, and talked him down because he was flipping out about being hearing this voice and all this other stuff. And he heard the voice. Was worried about being charmed again. So that's what he did for the last four days. No, then after we that, together. I talked him down from that, went to a pub, we talked it out, I explained to him what was going on with him, I told him a little bit about my backstory with this voice and how, it's, how I dealt with it, and then after that he showed me the ways of the Dragonborn. So that I can perfect changing into a dragonborn. Right. So, so now he we're, he's more proficient. Yes. If we need so I'm more him. proficient to change to a dragon. So you mean to tell me while we were busting our asses, you guys were sitting in the bar drinking? I didn't know you guys had left. <laughs> we didn't know yeah, you guys we, had left. We 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 came back and everyone was gone. Gone. Yeah. So, so you're like, well, I don't know what we're doing. We, so we, we, we went on a, a, um, a four-day bender. <laughs> we went on a two-day bender and a two-day training session. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's better than crying mommy in the grocery store. Yeah, right. Mommy's yeah, over right. here yeah, sitting just in jail. Drank a bunch of gut shakers and woke up yeah, four hey, days later. Hey, we didn't know. We didn't know. It was in jail. Not our job. It was in jail? I was never in jail. No, I thought you went to jail after your performance. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I had a heart-to-heart with a... Hachi machi lady. <laughs> Hachi machi. Hachi machi lady. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, so we didn't know what was going on. We Are came back for the lizard king now. Leather and lace. Puts me in my place. That's all I got to say. Well, it's like your daughter. You're good to go. Uh, it, oh, what? what? <laughs> Never. That's God. Why I totally, I didn't completely sound completely different than Scanlan. <laughs> I know of his name and his story. Yeah. Anyway. What? <laughs> the reason I want to go to the tree is because you were so around. goddamn, I'll just say out loud, you were so goddamn insistent about going to the tree. I don't know, man. Well, because I just want to make sure it's not connected to the voice that I'm hearing. So that way. Then why? Because that would answer my question. You, that would answer you, why the, the shadows are coming into the, the real realm. Are you guys seeing realm, shadows? As no. opposed to the Fey realm. Because I had questions. Well, you do know Wolfsbane is a changeling. And the yes. changeling is a fae. Yes. And they're native to the fae. So world. you're just fae sensitive or fae curious. Oh! oh. oh. Hey, oh. Your so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the sounds. He's, He's like the Gallagher in D&D. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Lower rent Gallagher of D&D. D&D. Uh, He's like, you, you like Gallagher's brother of D&D. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's over here. And if we were to go there. So. Like, I, like I mentioned in the chat. Uh, I'm getting pretty close. Prop, Hopefully, before the next time we play, yeah. prop D and D play the beta <laughs> so for the next right. game will be out, and it deals yeah, with so. um, like kind of like the prequels, mm. and it also deals with why he's a fae and why you're fae touched. Okay. Uh, why why are fae touched? Because there's way. there's a connection between the two of you. Is that, you don't know. It's not why I'm a fae. It's I was born that way. It's not like it's, yeah. <laughs> 
So Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga, Gaga song. Man, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't choose to be a fan. The fate chose yeah. me. Yeah, the fate chose me. Oh, it's okay. like, it has like, like the same graphics as like Daddy, you know, Final Fantasy III. Like, like, who's, who's the new uh, fate? What was your... What, when's it going into, baby? <laughs> All right, so are you guys with your discussion, uh, done with your discussion about uh, downtime? Kurt oh, yeah. asks you, are you ready for your all to speak with Sarah Ball? Oh, happily. Yeah, All right, he... he Bow Bring him in. very daintily to you and gives you a little wink and then walks yeah, out yeah. and brings in uh, Sarah Bold. You see a, a, a young knight. He's probably only in his mid-twenties. He gives you a curt nod and then uh, stands before you. And he's like, I was told you have agreed to take the contract. On a few conditions. Possibly. Well, bold, green, and yeah. but, but he this rebellion. He, he he has no interest in the manor. He's mm. you know he has a more important position in the the barony of Grandcroft. Cool. He's uh, basically in charge of the Eastern Army. Okay. All right. And the crazy the crazy witch you killed in the Haunted Mansion was his sister. Oh. oh and the person that, that you were wearing the skin of was his father. No. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> Does he know that? Yeah. No, he doesn't know that. That's awkward. Yeah. Who, who, who was wearing skin again? Uh, and now we own his more prison <laughs> state. Was, well, that was I you. Was, oh, I was yeah, originally. Yeah, yeah. But then eventually we threw down the kid. The, the kid. kid. <laughs> well, not the child, but the kid that went to go get vengeance. Right. Yeah, yeah one of the other soldiers. But then he ended up getting charmed and you killed him. Yes. All right, uh, he's, uh, he tells you, uh, he's like, I have a soldier, uh, Captain Anders. Uh, he has a forward position. We've defeated the rebels twice in the field. Um, and they have fled into the forest north of Ardenton. And Anders has been charged with rooting out and destroying the rendiments. So that they do not uh, rebuild uh, recruiting from the general populace. So if we can end their group now, then uh, 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 we do not believe they'll be able to rebuild if we can remove their leadership. If, you are, if you've already defeated them twice, what do you think they're hopeful? Well, you guys are pretty good at finding things. Put them down. And it's far enough away from all our cities that if we invest all our soldiers to just search for them, we will be quite unguarded in our cities. So why is this worth our time? There's a contract here. It's a contract. It's it's money it. reasons. Money. You guys are mercenaries. That's We're it. Out, out. <laughs> just money. Yeah. Out, out time over here. Money. I mean, like there's all kinds of contracts. Seems like uh, the party that them. came in must be the best thing. We're doing no, he's out. Yeah. So, so they've exactly already exactly repelled exactly. these guys twice. How, do, how or why really? do they no. keep coming no. back? And do you know what kind of numbers they have at this point? Probably not a lot, but we, we do have men stationed under Anders. You guys are just meant to be his best. Have you managed to take any of these uh, guys alive? Have you tried questioning them at all? Oh, well, we know that they're loyal to the Lake Count. C can you give? Mm. They basically changed it's leadership, and the line of secession wasn't uh, unquestioned and unchallenged. This is the challenge. Uh -huh. it, it's it's not a matter of questioning their loyalty. It's a matter of finding out if they've found some sort of weakness in your defense that they're continuing to exploit because this is the third time you're dealing with them and somehow... Well, we never, we never destroyed back. their army. Do you have just any, because you yeah. destroy an army doesn't mean... Just because you win a battle, like you won the battle outside Linberry, but you still had to fight the same army again. I, I, I know, but the fact that you keep having to deal with them suggests to me that there are some logistics that you're not accounting for. And probably not a lot is not exactly an acceptable answer to the Yeah, that, 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 that's not a definable number. We don't know exactly how many survived. Yeah, Do you have any problem. prisoners at all? Mm -hmm. You don't have an estimate? Is it 100? Is it 200? Yeah, that, that's why you interrogate <laughs> and capture people so that you can get those kind of... Well, yeah, but the people we interrogate, they don't know how many people survived. We don't know how many they grouped up. 
because we beat them in the field and they fled into the forest. We don't know how many of them regrouped, how many of them went home to just forget about it. Do you have any prisoners at all? This is important. Uh, Anders may. Do you know how many well, they started with? Is there a way we could find out? Uh, you have to report to Anders. Guys, quick aside. Mm-hmm. Step away. Uh, so like like a prick, I'm doing my hand thing. Like, oh, get walk away. Excuse me, can we just have a moment to discuss this? Yeah, we're better with this. We need, we need a right. point of contact. If we're doing this, if we're doing this, I need a, I need a prisoner. Holy shuckleberry! Oh, dang nabbit! Oh, what a blustery bit of stuff we gotta deal with. Now it's up to the detectives of our party to really get in and understand why a prisoner has not been questioned and why is there even a prisoner in the first place. Listen in in our next session for a little bit of mercy. Thank you very much for listening to Dungeonetics. We can be reached at Dungeonetics on Instagram, Dungeonetics at gmail.com, Dungeonetics at freesound.org, Dungeonetics on Twitter, Dungeonetics, the Facebook page, and if you're interested, the great folks at the Geekonomics Podcast Network for their wonderful hosting and understanding that we're just on their side. The music that you've heard during this episode of Dungeonetics was provided by Kellen. There's also a little bit by Games Brown in there. Ooh, always bringing the soft. And for the hard, well, there's some ideals. And remember, adventurers, each inside every one of you is a little adventurer just looking to get out. Some of you are going to come off as rogues. Some of you are going to come off as barbarians. But remember, without a team behind you, you may just be KOA. Have a good night. Put up your hood and you will lose less heat. That's science. You know why that's science? I don't want to touch my hand. Fantastic. All right. Now I got to record this dungeon genetics thing. Are you ready?